Hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hi, Jenny. Hi, Jenny. Hi, Anna. How are you? I'm great. How was your vacation? Um, I'm very tired. <laughs> really? Yeah. Why? Why? Uh, what did you do? Um, I wash my clothes, uh, the clothes that my daughter uh, I clean the house. I know, no, no, really. But do you, <laughs> do you do you have a washing machine or do you hand wash? Hand wash. Oh, okay, that's tired. <laughs> And was teacher please because I very tired. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. What about you, Jenny? How was your weekend? Uh, your vacation? What did you do? Yeah. Okay. Is I I I go visit my mommy and and my other family um, and go to the church. I I go in working on the shirt uh, in my house. You went to church? Yes. Okay. Okay, what else did you do? I, I have an activity in the church, but it's the, but the meeting in the, the old, the old, uh, a different, um, what say that different, um, no, nos reunimos todas, todas las, las, las pequeñitas que hay en los departamentos, nos reunimos aquí en San Salvador. Okay, okay. Okay, good, good for you. Thank you. What about you? Um, who else is here now? Karen, how was your your how was your vacation? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hi. Um pues sinceramente no salí, teacher. In English, I didn't do anything. Um Repeat, I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. Very good, okay, good. Nothing, nothing. Nothing, teacher, in my house. Haciendo oficio. Okay. All right, let me see. Let me open up the, the platform. Let's do so to, neither, and either. Pay attention to these words, look. Hey, this is strange.
Qué raro no ver el video. Hi, welcome to another section. This time we will teach okay, you words there. of like... ...with the formula so you understand it better. Subject. Hi. Okay, class, pay attention to this, okay? Okay, escuchemos so, neither, either. Hi, did you copy the agreement words? Can you hear? Very good. Now we'll teach you when yes, to use teacher. Teach. Yes. Try to make sense of what you see on the following chart. Don't go as we walk you through the use of so, to, neither, either, and more examples. So, to, neither, either. I like Japanese food a lot. So do I. I do too. Really? I don't like it very much. I'm crazy about dessert. So am I. I am too. Oh, I'm not. I can eat really spicy food. So can I. I can too. Really? I can't. I don't like greasy food. Neither do I. I don't either. Oh, I like it a lot. I'm not in the mood for Indian food. Neither am I. I'm not either. Really? I am. I can't stand fast food. Neither can I. I can't either. Oh, I love it. The use of to and so to agree with something being said to us. In English, we can use to or so in short answers to show we agree with something or someone. Notice we use the auxiliary verb of the short answer of the statement being said to us. For example, I am hungry. I am too. So am I. I love apple pie. I do too. So do I. I can play chess. I can too. So can I. The position of two is right at the end. Follow me. Subject. Auxiliary. Two. The position of so is right at the beginning. Follow me again. So. Auxiliary plus subject. Now let's study the use of neither and either. To show agreement with negative statements, we can use neither and either. We also use the auxiliary verb of the short answer of the statement. Pay attention to the following. We use the negative auxiliary when we use either and the positive auxiliary with either. Follow the examples. I am not hungry. I am not either. Neither am I. I don't dance salsa. I don't either. Neither do I. I can't swim. I can't either. Neither can I. I'll leave you with the formula so you understand it better. Subject plus negative auxiliary plus either. Notice either goes at the end. Neither plus positive auxiliary plus subject. Notice neither goes at the beginning. Please agree with me in the following statements. Write your responses on our discussion box. I like ice cream. I am happy. I love pizza. I can't. I can't. The use of to. In English, we short answer of the statement being apple pie. I do. Okay, look, it's very simple. Let's do to and so. Yo les recomiendo usar tú porque es más fácil. I love apple pie. What is something you love? Oh, for example, listen, I love coffee. Me encanta. Me too. Me too. 
too. I love coffee. Me too. I love ice cream. Me too. Catherine, um, I like pupusas. Yes. Me too, teacher. All right, good. Me too. That's easy. Now, what is so? I teacher. Yes. También. Eh, en la clase pasada, eh, me estuvo explicando y el me too dijo que era para... ¿Cómo se llama los para los mm, no el sodo el para el adjetivo se usa so and I uh -huh. y cuando en verbo se usa el sodo I exacto y el me too viene siendo igual se usa con verbo uh -huh. exacto ah ok Okay, meaning I am hungry. Hungry is an adjective. No, es, fíjense más en el auxiliar. I am hungry. Okay. What is the auxiliary? Am. Um. Am. So I am hungry. I am too. Mm -hmm. Or so am I. I, I I love apple pie. Now, love is a verb. So then the auxiliary for the verb is do. I do too. So do I. Let me see. Jenny. True. I, go, I go to church. Yes. I go to church. And you? Me too. Okay, me too, or I do too. I do too. Yes. Catherine, me too is in general para todo. Es la más fácil. Ah, me too. Okay. O sea. Okay, ya. Ya entendí, teacher. No le puse azúcar acá. Le gusta okay. Marco, teacher. Yeah. <laughs> okay, um, so in this case, I go to church. I go, go is a verb. So you can say, I do too. Mm -hmm. Ana. Hello. Hi, Ana Lopez. Ana Lopez, I drink coffee. I don't do <laughs> as easily, <laughs> or I don't. <laughs> no, so no less, I don't. I don't. <laughs> okay. Anna, I drink Coca Cola. I don't. Are you a Mormon? Pardon? <clears throat> Are you a Mormon? Uh, I don't stand, Peter. In your religion, are you a Mormon? Uh, I don't understand. Okay, listen, please. Just please, please listen. In your religion, are you a uh, Mormon? <laughs> no, teacher. Okay. No, no, no. It's because it's uh, health. Okay. For health. <laughs> no, because, you know, Mormons, they don't drink coffee or, or soda. Uh, okay. No, it's for salud, teacher. But coffee? Okay. Okay, uh -huh. Anna, I I eat fruit. I uh, yes. I uh, yes. I do, I do. Jerry, I do too. Exactly. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I eat fruit, I do too. Very okay. good. Got it. Yes. Got it. I love hamburgers. Um. So um, I. 
Listen one more time. I love hamburgers. Oh, well, sí, es cierto. Eh, so do I. So do I. Very good. So, Beida, hi. Hello, teacher. Hello. Um, so, Beida, I am hot. Me too, teacher. Me too, yes. Hot is like hot. Yes. Okay, and that's the auxiliary. Let's see. Let's see. The knowledge check. It says instructions, write responses to show agreement with these statements. Do not use periods on your answers. Escriba la respuesta donde está de acuerdo con los siguientes enunciados. No coloque punto en sus respuestas. Ya están colocados por usted. I am not crazy about French food. What did you put? Catherine, what did you put in number one? Okay, teacher. Um, I am not, sería, um, I am too. But notice it's negative. I am negative. not crazy about French food. Mm. Oh, okay, let's watch the video. You too. So do I. I can play chess. I can too. This is these are affirmatives. So I. The position okay, now, let's do is negatives. right at the end. It's right at the beginning. So we can use neither and either. We also use the auxiliary verb of the short answer of the statement. Pay attention to the following. We use the negative auxiliary when we use either and the positive auxiliary with either. Follow the examples. I am not hungry. I am not either. Neither am I. I don't dance salsa. I don't either. Neither do I. I can't swim. I can't either. Neither can I. I'll leave you with the four. Okay, so look, these are negative. So what is number one? I am not crazy about French food. I am not either. Okay, I am not either or neither am I. Okay. Okay, number. Aunque saben que las dos respuestas estaban buenas, pero la plataforma solo acepta una. So, I am not either or neither am I. They're both okay, correct, teacher. okay? Uh, Ana Lopez, I can eat any kind of food. Mm. Um. I neither can. I can eat any kind of food. Para empezar, entiende lo que dice ahí. Sí. Okay. Porque yo le pregunté, yo le estoy diciendo, yo puedo comer todo tipo de comida. Y usted me está diciendo, yo no puedo tampoco. Ah, lo, lo del N, no entendí. Tite. Oh, ok. No, okay. por eso, mire, Entonces, I can. I can is something affirmative. I can. Ah, pero es que por el N es que me confunde. Oh, any, ok. Uh -huh. Any Entonces, es cualquier. Uh -huh. Cualquier. Ah, uh -huh. ok. Okay, okay. I can eat Entonces, any kind of food. I can too. I can too. Okay, very good. Yeah, that's an answer. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think Mexican food is delicious. Karen? 
So do I. Very good. Yeah, that was good. I can't stand greasy food. I can't Sobeida. either. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Sobeida. I I don't either. But there, there's a verb. Listen, I can't stand. I can't either. I can't either. Okay. I don't like salty food. Me too. Yeah. I don't either. Oh, neither do I. I am in the mood for something spicy. Saben que es, I am in the mood. No, teacher. Okay, mood is... Estado. Estado. I am in a good mood. I am in a bad mood. Get here. I am in a good mood. What's spicy, teacher? Okay, ante the spicy case mood. I am in a good ah, mood. mood. No, no, I. Eso es lo que I le don't acabo know. De decir. Es un estado. I am in a good mood. I am in a bad mood. What is mood? Estoy en un buen estado. Estoy en un mal estado. Vuelvo y repito. No es estado como de Estados Unidos. Es estado. Como de... triste o alegre o. Yes. Ajá. Es un estado. Estado. Emocional. Emocional. Yes. Thank you, Ana. <laughs> Entonces. I am in a good mood. I am in a bad mood. Sometimes I am in a dancing mood. I am in a mood for pizza. Lo único que pasa es que en español cambia mucho porque uno dice, ando, estoy en un buen, en un buen humor, mal humor. Ando con ganas de pizza, ando con ganas de sorbete, ando con ganas de bailar. Imagínense, estoy de buen humor, estoy de mal humor, ando con ganas, cambian los verbos. En inglés siempre dice, estoy en un estado de. ¿Ya? Yes, por ejemplo, si se me antoja pupusas, I am in a mood. Excuse me, I am in a mood for pupusas. Um, yeah. Entonces, what is spicy? Mexican food is very spicy. Picante. Uh -huh. mm. Entonces aquí dice, I am in a mood for something spicy. So do I? So, I, so am so I. So I too. So am I. So. So am I. Oh okay, let me show you the answers. Ven mi pizarra, ven mi, mi, mi. Yes. Okay.
I am. What's next after I am? Adjective. Thank you. What is an adjective, Catherine? Catherine, what is an adjective? Um. What is an adjective? Um, hungry? Or oh, happy? Yes, okay, okay, but listen to my question. Yes, but angry, happy is an adjective. Okay. But si pregunto, what is an adjective? What is an adjective? ¿Qué es un adjetivo? Yes. Okay. Um, como una emoción, algo que refleja de una persona, como un sentimiento. Okay, good, good. Okay, Karen, what is an adjective? Um, an adjective is um, una, una acción, una... And, but people, but please, in English, in English, no, no, quiero, no quiero la Wikipedia example, just very short and simple. What is an adjective? No quiero que me digan. Un adjetivo es una acción cuando un verbo va de una No, no, not in Spanish, mm -hmm. in English. But simple in English. What is an adjective? It's prior uh, uh, object, a noun. Excuse me, repeat. Describe a noun. Describe yeah. a noun. Yes. An adjective describes a noun. Maybe an a quality? Yes, it's an adjective. An adjective describes a person. An adjective describes a place. An adjective describes a thing, a car. Por eso se llama noun. What is a noun? It's a person, a place, or a thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so, so a person okay so now Catherine what is an adjective description a noun very good what is a noun a person place exactly so for example I am. I am married. What is the adjective? Married. Married, because married is describing me. Jenny. Jenny is he, she, we, or they? He. He. She. He. She. Jenny, so she is... Married too, yes. Yeah. She's married. So Beda, she is single. Karen, she is happy. Sanchez Seren, he is funny. <laughs> He's funny. Um, los caribeños, puertorriqueños, they are happy. Dancing. No, no dancing. Hmm. 
Yo debo decir por qué. Bailarines. Dancers. Dancers. Ok. Ok. Y si una cosa es, it is. Vaya, miren, ¿por qué se llaman pronombres? Porque toman el lugar del nombre. O digo Jenny o digo she. Pero nunca voy a decir she, Jenny. Ni en español. Ella, Jenny, yes. Les digo porque con it se confunde. It es el o la. San Miguel, it is hot. hot. San Miguel no es he, she, we, or they. San Miguel es it. Eh. Cual, uh -huh. So, de decimos dos cosas. It is hot o oh, San Miguel is hot. But this is not correct. San Miguel, it is hot. Okay. Yes, teacher. So, do do you understand, um, Karen, mm -hmm. Anna? Yes. Yeah. All right. So, Beida. Will Smith. Okay. <clears throat> Give me an he, example. Mm -hmm. He is. He is tall. He is tall. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Jenny, your husband. Yeah. Tell. Describe your husband. Okay. He is funny. He is funny, very good. Karen, describe your daughter. Tola. Daughter. Um, no, class, no, look, look at me, class. Okay, you have two children. You have a son and a daughter, correct? <laughs> Uh -huh. Describe your daughter. Karen, you have two children, correct? Yes. One son and one daughter. One boy and one girl, no? No, I didn't Two sons. Oh, two sons. Okay, yeah. des describe describe your two sons. Uh, the first is no describe describe your two sons in general. Los dos okay, okay. Solo. My son. Uh, Pero usamos pronombres. They, they are, uh, como se dice en terremoto. <laughs> they are terrible. <laughs> they are terrible. <laughs> yes. Okay, very good. <laughs> but in this case, yeah, they are. They are. Good. They are, and the adjective, terrible. terrible. So, yes. usamos adjectives funny, tall, terrible. Married, angry. Nunca usamos un verbo, right? Only an adjective. So, after I am, he is, she is, we are, they are, it is, we use an adjective. Okay? Okay. 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 Now look. 
Hoy cambiamos. The difference here now is, con el auxiliar va primero, it's a question. Jenny. Yes. So, so Beida is he, she, we, or they? He. Is he? She. She. She, correct? Yes. Okay, so is she married? No, she is single. Very good. Catherine. Yes, teacher. Do you have a boyfriend? Yes. Your boyfriend is he, she, we, or they? Mm -hmm. He. Is he jealous? <laughs> he is. <laughs> yes, he is. Yes, he is. <laughs> okay. Sobeida. Tell me, teacher. Uh, trouble. Do you know what is trouble? Yes. Okay. Are, are gang members in El Salvador in trouble in this moment? Repeat, please. Okay, very good. Are gang members in El Salvador in trouble? The meaning of gang, gang? Okay, listen, gang members. Gang members. Gang, MS-18. Gang members. Ahí le dije la respuesta. 18. Mm -hmm. MS eighteen. So Veda. Sorry, teacher, I don't understand. Okay, okay, it's okay, but I just I just need you to please listen. MS yeah. and eighteen in El Salvador. Nunca ha habido la MS. MS. Uh, sorry. Okay. No, it's okay. Okay, now listen to my question. Okay. That is a gang member. Listen. Okay. Gang okay. Okay. member. Okay. So, yeah, gang members are MS and 18. I think it's only two, no? Uh, yes. Y hay, hay bastante dividido en cada. Uh -huh. Porque hay, creo que hay 18 sureños, norteños. <laughs> oh, whatever. Deportado. Yeah, deportado, no deportado, uh -huh. feos, guapos. Okay. But okay. In, in general, in general, they are gang members. Gang es ganga. Que ganga. realmente es pandilla. Uh -huh. Gang. Okay. Le voy a escribir mm -hmm. eso en el chat. Sí, por favor. Gangs. Gang. Gangs members. Okay, repeat the question, okay. please. Good. Uh, one thing, one thing. Uh -huh. um, la palabra maras, creo que solo es salvadoreño. Okay. Porque creo, creo que la técnica es pandillas. Uh -huh. En México sí. creo que le dicen bandas. I okay. think. Pero en Estados Unidos serían gangs, gangs, como. 
Ok. ¿Se acuerdan de la película Gangs of New York? No, teacher. Yeah, the, the I am very bad. You don't oh, remember. Okay. <laughs> okay. But in general, um, so, so listen. Okay. Are gangs in, in problems, or I'm sorry, are gangs in trouble in El Salvador in this moment? Yes, they are. Very good. Eso quería que... Sorry. Yes. No, o sea que acertó el, el, el pronombre correcto. Yes, okay. they are. Ok. ¿Qué le pregunté eso, Ira? Que si los pandilleros estaban en problemas Very en good. El Salvador. Uh -huh. Están en problemas. Yes, they are. Teacher, okay. solo yes. la primera vez que me preguntó, yo le entendí travels, de viajar. Uh, trouble. 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 Trouble y travel. Puede ser como la diferencia de esas dos palabras. Eh, la diferencia ahí son sus labios. Ok. Trouble and travel. Exacto. Mire, travel. Ahí está un perfecto ejemplo de cómo usar la V. ¿Cómo es? La B. Fíjense que esto tiene mucha lógica. Eh, la B grande, ya está. Se llama B labial. ¿Saben por qué se llama le, B labial? Porque se usan los dos labios. Labio. Labio. Pero de apuesto que ustedes lo hacen ahorita, hasta van a sentir raro, o sea, decir labio con salar la loto, labio. Porque todos decimos labio. Todos pronunciamos así, labio. Puede que no lo escribamos así algunos, pero así lo pronuncian todos, labio. Y es labio. Entonces, eh, ahí está la diferencia. Trouble y travel. La B y la V. Ok, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Es como les digo, fíjense que mi apellido es este. Valtrons. Y me lo escriben así. Valtrons. There's a big difference. I call Pizza Hut. Hi, I want a pizza. And your name, uh, David Baltrons. ¿Ve grande o ve pequeña? En inglés nunca le van a preguntar eso. Yo dije Baltrons, nunca dije Baltrons. Pero lo que les digo es, aprendan a usar, porque en el, en el español, en el Salvador, lo que les dije el primer día de clases, creo, realmente no nos, no, nos pela decir ¿Cuál es la, la forma correcta cuando es relacionado a la B? A la B, porque en inglés, el, si ustedes quieren tener buena pronunciación en inglés, usen sus labios, que es algo que español no usamos. Pregunte la mañana a alguien, what is your name? Todos les van a decir esto. Bueno, si le preguntan a Díaz. Por lo menos siete le van a responder así. My name is Juan. My name is María. Pero vean mi boca. My name es imposible decir la M con la boca abierta. Y en español lo hacemos. My name. Yes, my name. ¿Me entiendes, Sobeida? Entonces, eh, la, la diferencia está en los labios. La B grande, usamos los dos labios. Y la B pequeña, solo el de abajo. Ok. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Por ejemplo, vaca. Vaca. Es el experimento del labio. Y tiene razón, lo pronunció mal. 
Se siente raro, era labio. Mm -hmm. se, siente, se siente raro pronunciarlo correcto. Como el labio. Y, de, y cuesta, y cuesta después, porque uno, después de eso ya va a ver mañana. Hoy lo va a querer pronunciar bien siempre. Y le va a costar labio. Mm -hmm. ah. Es cierto. Pero si quieren mejorar su, su pronunciación en inglés, uh -huh. está en la boca, en los labios. Ok. Yeah. Ok, so. I am, am I, is he, is she, are we, are they, it. Is it? ¿Ven la diferencia de los auxiliares? I am is an affirmation. Am I is a question. Hay un chiste, vi un meme que me causó mucha risa. Porque es verdad de que decía a los hombres en mis tiempos solo preguntábamos cuando nos gustaba una chica. Hi, are you married? Hoy hay que preguntarles. Hi, are you a woman or a man? <ríe> Porque ya no se sabe. No, sí, como era en mis tiempos, decíamos, ojalá no, ojalá no tenga novio. Wow, qué bonito, ojalá no tenga novio. Y hoy es, wow, ojalá sea mujer. Pero ahí está lo, 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 el pronombre. All right. Ok. Preguntas en esto con I am. No, teacher. Ok, so, Catherine, what is an adjective? Description a noun. Very good. And the, 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 Anna, what is a noun? El noun. Eh, sujeto. What is a subject? Um, I, he, she, it. Okay, good. We, they. Okay, so remember, a noun is a person, place, or thing. Okay, next. Okay, look. Now, what is the difference between I and I am? No auxiliary. Yes? So listen, I am, he is, she is, we are, they are, it is, am, is, are, son auxiliaries. When we have an auxiliary, we use an adjective. When there's no auxiliary, we use a verb. So, Veida. Tell me, teacher. Vea, fíjese bien en esto. Watch. 
Vea esto. Okay. Jenny, Catherine, son las únicas que tienen cámara. Vamos a ver. Catherine, ¿qué dice aquí? Yes, teacher. Thank you, Anna. Catherine, ¿qué dice aquí? Verb. Okay, good. So, Veda, Jenny, Anna, Karen, did you see that? Yes. ¿Qué hizo Catherine? He used the sound on the letters. Yes. Catherine, you did this. Verb. Verb. Uh -huh. Usted lo pronunció así. Lo dijo con la B, no con la V. Exacto. Uh, Catherine, Catherine, you pronounced it like this, verb. No, it's okay, it's okay. But actually, there's a... Yes. <laughs> <laughs> pronounce again? <laughs> Is verb. verb. Exactly. Es un poco confuso porque se usan las dos veces, mire. <laughs> verb. Yes. Okay, so, uh, so when we say I, you, he, she, we, they, we use a verb. Yes? I eat, you eat. Yes. There's an exception for he, she, and it. That at the end of the verb, we put an S. I eat, you eat, she eats. He eats. Okay? That's the only exception. Y gracias porque nadie preguntó por qué, teacher. <laughs> no hay explicación por qué llevan esos. I don't know. Nadie, nunca, he leído tantos libros y nunca. No, no. This is just English. <laughs> Saber por qué. En chivo hubiera sido. I eat, you eat, he eat, she eat. But I don't know why he, she, and it, it has an S. So, <clears throat> I live, no, I live, I live in Colonia Vista Hermosa. And you, Jenny? I live in Ayutuxtepec. In Ayutuxtepec. All right. Anna. I work in I work in my house. I work in the office. All right. Catherine, I listen to rock music. I listen. Ya, ya me van, si me sale en YouTube, ya me van a venir a traer. <laughs> I listen um, romantic music. Oh, in Spanish or English? Two. Do you like air supply? Um, um, bon Jovi? Bon Jovi, yeah, he's good. Yes. <clears throat> Karen Sandoval, are you there? Yes. I eat eggs every day me too teacher yeah i love eggs me too yeah okay porque da mucha proteína y con mi entrenamiento debo de oh, okay good yo porque me gusta ni <laughs> sé que lleva de proteína i just i i love eggs no pero sí, ayuda <laughs> mucho Oh, okay. Crecimiento de, de la masa muscular. Really? Oh, okay. 
Wow. Okay. So listen. So Veda, where does Jenny live? She lives in Ayutuxtepec. She lives in Ayutuxtepec. Excellent. Anna, what music does Catherine listen to? She listens to pop music, because I cried and I cried every night that I thought for you, baby. Bon Jovi. Yes. <laughs> he listens to Bon Jovi. Ah, you see, I, I. Le dio cuando canté se acordó a Bon Jovi. No, okay, um, Jenny. Tell me. What does Karen eat? He, I'm sorry. He, I'm sorry. Okay. What, do, what does Karen eat for her routine? He eats eggs for, for routines. For her routine. For her routines. All right. Good. Catherine. Yes, teacher. Where do I live? <laughs> he lives. Who can is he? You? Oh, okay. You live. You live. Mm -hmm. oh. Vista hermosa. Vista hermosa. <laughs> Miren, un, una cosa bien triste. Aquí hicieron alfombras. Voy a llover bien fuerte ese día. <laughs> Pobre. <laughs> Hay una alfombra bien larga y. Oh man, pobrecito. En your house, en, en San Sonate, no. No. Um, at the city? But, uh, but that day it rained? Um, sorry, teacher. Um, I visited uh, my family um, at Taco. Oh, in Taco. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, no rain. Oh, okay. Here in San Salvador, in some parts, it rained. Sorry. Yeah. No, for me, it was good. <laughs> I oh, sleep. Yeah. Yes, I didn't want to see the, the alfombras, but my wife, mama, mama. And then, <laughs> hey, by your bed, let's go, yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes, I'm, oh, hey, look, it's going to rain, let's go. So I was happy. <laughs> okay. So very good. Um, miren, créanme, si ustedes pueden dominar esto cuando ves un adjetivo y un verbo, es algo sumamente fácil y difícil a la vez porque se, se confunde, pero ya cuando lo agarran, ya no les va a costar. Y créanme, porque esto se usa desde el inglés básico hasta el nativo. Es algo que siempre se va a usar. Y es un, un error común hasta en avanzado. Siempre se lo va a alguien. Oh, yesterday, um, teacher, yesterday I, I am work in, in my house. Yo he tenido eso. Gente en TOEFL. What did you do on vacation? Ah, uh, I am staying in my house. Como, oh. I am stay in my house. Stay is a verb. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. I stayed in my house. Yeah, es como dicen se le va la piscucha a alguien a veces. <laughs> Pero um, so recuerden eso. I am, he is, she is, we are, they are. Adjective. No adjective. It's a verb. That's it. Simply. Okay. All right. So we will continue tomorrow. 
Y vamos a hacer las preguntas que no hicimos hoy, por ejemplo, con los verbos. Para, para el verbo sí hay un auxiliar, que es el famoso do you. Do you like? Do you watch? Yes. For example, do you like coffee, Ana? Yes, I, I like. Wait a minute. But I don't. Drink. I oh, okay. Don't drink. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Good. Very, very good answer. Yes, I like coffee, but I don't drink. Okay. Now, okay. Now I understand. Yes. Um, Jenny, do you smoke? Yes. Do you smoke? I don't. I don't. I don't smoke. Very good. Sobeida. No. Do you sleep alone? No, I don't can sleep alone. No, I don't sleep alone. I don't sleep alone. Oh, okay. You sleep with your mother or sister or nephew? No, with my mother. With my mother. Mm -hmm. Oh. Very good. Catherine. Yes, teacher. Do you watch TV? Do you watch Netflix? Yes, I watch TV. Okay. Mañana le voy a enseñar a usar, recuérdeme, okay? Have you? Have you? Mm -hmm. Yes, I have. No, I haven't. La diferencia, okay. yes, I have. No, I haven't. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Karen, do you go to the gym every day? Yes, I go. Excuse me? Yes, I go. Yes, um. Karen, ahí, ahí tocó un punto bueno. Lo dejo a medias. Sí, pero es que me quedé pensando, porque uh -huh. normalmente no voy al gimnasio porque en mi casa tengo máquina. Oh, yo pensé que me iba a decir, me quedé pensando en la gramática, si lo dije bien o no. <risa> no, miren, ¿por qué lo dejo a medias? Porque yo le pregunté, do you go to the gym every day? Y me dijo, yes, I go. Ahí, termínelo, yes, I go to the gym every day. Si lo quiere dejar corto, solo diga, yes, I do. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, for example, do you eat pizza? Yes, I eat. No. Yes, I eat pizza. Oh, yes, I do. Okay. Yeah, that's the difference. Short answer, complete answer. Okay, girls, thank you. Thank you very much, okay? Thank you. I'll see hey. you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Bye -bye. Good night. Bye. Have a happy Monday. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye, teacher. Bye. Bye-bye.